There's a lot of physics fun to be had with an audio oscillator, but they can be expensive or at least more than what you need. We're gonna show you how to make your own simple audio oscillator in this video. First, out of a large glue stick, cut two one inch pieces. Then using an eighth inch drill bit, drill about one centimeter into the end of a glue stick. Next, cut a few one inch pieces of paper clip. Heat up the end of the paper clip to make it hot enough so that it can melt into the glue stick. Do this again so that you end up with two pieces of paper clip lying along the diameter of the glue stick. Then make sure that they're sticking out pretty straight. Then heat up the other ends of those paper clip pieces. Stab them into another glue stick, leaving space between them. In that space, you're going to stick neodymium disc magnets, about five on each side. Then you can poke the shaft of a hobby motor into the hole that you drilled. Next, you're gonna cut out the coil of an old discarded speaker. Make sure you don't accidentally cut the wires. You'll need those. This will include clipping out the solder joints from the metal frame and then cutting the basket, again being careful not to cut the wires. Then mount it with the coil facing up on something rigid like a piece of cardboard. The magnet is gonna spin above this coil, so you're gonna need to find a spacer that gives it the right clearance. I had two nuts lying around that were the perfect height. Another paper clip heated and pushed into the center of the other glue stick will help make sure that this apparatus stays centered above the coil as it spins quickly. That paper clip is going to need to sit inside of a slip bearing. You're gonna have to find a spacer that's the right height and I'm using a bead for that to rotate inside of. I'm gonna hook up some clips to our coil so that we can look at the waveform this creates on an oscilloscope. And we're of course gonna have to hook a battery up to our motor to get it spinning. Looks like we've got our waveform. You're probably gonna wanna adjust the frequency of your oscillator, so for that you can use a common rheostat or trim pot. Mine is 100 ohms. Here's a closer look. If you're making an audio oscillator, you probably want to hear it. Here I am hooking up a cable that'll interface nicely with a normal stereo amplifier you probably have at home. Now crank up the volume and enjoy.